This is a lesson given about the four types of soil. It was given in Gambia, Africa in January 2020. Let's all open with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As a brief introduction, I will read from the Illustrated Home Bible, written and illustrated by Ramo Osterberg. And it is the parable of the sower. 
When a large number of people had again come together to listen to Jesus, he told them a parable about a man who went out to sow seed. Some of the seeds the man scattered fell by the side of the road. There they were trampled, and the birds of the sky ate them. Some seed fell on rocks. They started to grow, but when the sprouts did not receive moisture from the ground, they withered away. Some seeds fell in the middle of a patch of thorns. The sprouts again began to grow, but the thorns also grew and choked out the new plants. But some seed fell on the good ground. They began to grow and yielded a hundredfold harvest. Now we will see this presentation given by Brian Johnson. We're going to talk about four types of soil, the ground. <laughs> One, one type of soil would be this, just the, the ground that we walk on. The second soil type is the rock on the ground, right here, rock. The third type of soil would be the, the bushes and the thorns. And the fourth type of soil would be the good ground. That, that rich soil that you plant your seed, you find in your garden. Or you find in the uh, fields, agricultural fields. So there's four types of soil that Jesus wanted to teach about. Jesus, Jesus taught in parables. He used parables to uh, explain the kingdom of God. And he wanted to let the people know that what the, where the, what the kingdom of God is. So in the Bible we can find this picture of the sower. This man here is sowing seed. And all of you probably know, you've seen people sow seed in your gardens, <laughs> And then four types of soil can be found in this picture. There's the, the stony ground, or the, the wayside, right here where we walk, the road. This picture here is the, the rock. The rocky ground. Here we see the thorns. And, and then we see here the, the good soil. That fourth type of soil. It says that a sower went out to sow the seed. You who uh, grow crops and grow gardens, you sow the seed. And you know if you put your seed on the wayside, it will sit there and, and, and people will walk over it. <coughs> and trample it. And trample it. Stomp the ground. Then the sower put his seed on the rocky ground. Very hard ground. The seed cannot penetrate on this type of ground. You cannot grow a crop on there. And then the, the fourth type, uh, third type of ground was the sower took his seed. And he sowed into the, the ground with thorns and bushes and weeds. 
The crop came up. Soon the weeds grabbed it. Just like this. The, 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 and then the seed here, the birds came and took it away. And then the seed sower took the seed and he sowed it into the good ground. What type of soil do you think yielded the best crop? Which is the best soil? Which is the best type of soil? One, the road. Two, the rocky ground. Three, the bushes and the thorns. Or fourth, the good soil. Which one is the best? Four. Yes, you were. You answered correctly. Four. Remember Bangkokon. Is it good soil? Good soil. Yes, correctly. Everybody agree. Four is the best soil. Yeah. Yes. Good. So Jesus compared these four types of soil to the heart of man. I don't know your heart. I don't know your, your heart, what's inside you. But God does. God knows each one of us, our hearts. What our condition of heart is it? Do we want a heart that's that is uh, by the wayside condition of our heart? Where, where the seed, the word, the seed which represents the word of God. The seed is like the word of God. You hear God's word right now this evening. God is speaking. He speaks through man. He speaks to his servants and the believers. This is why we're here. To plant the seed, the living seed, the word of God into your hearts. Or do you want, to, is your heart like this, a stony ground? You hear the word? Does it penetrate your heart? If it doesn't, you're like the heart is like a stony ground. And so it sits and does not get there into your heart. God asks all of us to have accepting hearts. This type of heart, where the thorns and weeds are. When the seed was sown there, it grew up and was happy and it rejoiced. It, it found God's kingdom. But just like the crop is, the weeds overtake the crop and smother it. This heart is like one who gets too worried about things in life. Oh, I want 500 motorcycles. This kind of this kind of heart is attracted <laughs> and when the temptation trials come, it's too great. And it soon is, is overwhelmed by all the cares of this world. But this type of soil, number four, is like the condition of a good heart in which God's word penetrates into your heart. And you accept it. And you believe. This is the heart that God wants us to have. 
This is the type of heart that a child has. A child simply believes. These little children have this type of heart. They believe the word of God. They accept the seed. And so with this parable, Jesus teaches us and will help us if we if we have sincerity and we want to believe not the heart on the road the, the road that gets trampled the seed gets trampled not the heart or condition of a rock where the seed doesn't penetrate and not the condition of seed of a heart where the weeds overcome. And but Jesus wants to have this type of heart. The good ground. The good soil. And God will help us. And he prepares his word and prepares the heart of a believer. And so this is the condition of, of man with God's wills that we would believe. So you can lift up your heart. And you can rejoice that the word of God is being preached this, this evening here amongst in your midst. We pray that you would accept this word. Because with this type of heart, when we believe through faith, we'll get to heaven. All of us want to get to heaven. All want to one day reach reach the home on high to see our Savior. And we can only do that with a, a, a heart of a believer. So you can lift up your hearts this evening to believe all your sins forgiven in Jesus' name and Believe unto peace, freedom, and joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's all close with the benediction. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.